power, man. Uh -huh. You got a greater destruction coming for that, man. To be out on the highways and byways speaking these scriptures, and then you going completely against them, man. Y'all wonder why this place got a great destruction coming. But, oh, I got The second Corinthians. And go, you still got more in that second Peter. Then when I say look for, I mean, yeah, get, get your precept and then finish that up first. Second Peter. Second Peter. Second Peter. Second Peter. Second Peter. No, that's no, not let the brother finish his precept out. Do mine? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. The second Corinthians, 6 and 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? Hey, the spirit wanted it to come out twice, but it's, it's, it, you can't get around that, man. You can't get around it, man. That's oil and water all day. It just don't um, mix, man. Go ahead, finish that second. Peter. Was that it on there? First Peter. Well, yeah, well, you know that the scripture point. came out, but the spirit wanted it to come out again. Yeah, he hit the point. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. It's, uh, second Peter is three. I'm going to start back at uh, 13. The donor said, what man on the first one need to be? I'll go yeah, up. Yeah. I'll, I'll go up. All right. Yeah, that's at 10. Verse 10. 11. 11. Oh, okay. okay. Second okay. Peter further down. Three and 11. See man, it. Start at 10, man. All right. 10 verse. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Yep. And while y'all playing games, man, professing that y'all in this truth, fellowshipping with uh, uh, niggas that love the black woman, who love Amin Ra, Allah, and whatever banner of wickedness you coming under, the Most High is going to send his son to sneak up on you like a thief in the night, man. Because you ain't paying attention to the prophecies. You're not standing on your watch, man. You're not being circumspect if you're sitting at a damn cookout or in these debates and all this shit. Man, you caught up in that, man. And what they debate, who I'm telling you what I believe to be true and and you telling me what you believe to be true and we debating what's the truth. But all that, fuck whoever don't believe. If you don't fucking believe, I'm not gonna sit there after you not convinced that's it. Yeah, I'm done with you. Because we worried about what's about to happen. And we out here to warn people, look man, this shit is done. Not out here to sit there and play fucking patty cake with you and just keep going back and forth. And it's like the brother said, that's all just trying to make some goddamn money off of Jake, man. Ain't nothing coming out of that shit. Hell no. Nah. First of all, all they do sit there, they spew out a whole bunch of information, and then, oh yeah, I'm gonna smash that. I'm gonna smash that. Yeah. What does that mean, man? What the hell does that mean, I'm gonna smash that? Guess what? The truth smashed all of that shit, man. Right. Because it's fact and it's coming to pass, man. Y'all not, we dealing with prophecy that it came to pass uh, and coming to pass, man. This book is the only book that contains that, man. So you can get a, a whole library full of books and you can't compare it to the power of these scriptures, man. The weight and the gravity of these scriptures, man. Let me get this finished up. Uh, hey, may I say something too, brother? Uh, y'all, you talking about, uh, who, who had brought it out about? I think General Johanna said that, that them sanctions that uh oh, sanctions by the Most High. No, the all them sanctions that uh America putting oh, on, on Russia. That's, that's talking about that's the, the mark of the beast. The, the mark of the beast. Yeah. Well, they if uh, they they what well, they supposedly that's pushing out a little prophecy, but you giving the people from false readings. You watching for what's going on, but then you give them a false, a uh, basically a false prophecy. A false, false information. That ain't talking about the uh, the mark of the beast. That uh, them, them sanctions that America imposing on uh, on uh, on Russia. And that ain't talking about the mark of the beast. So they so called pushing prophecy on that note on that particular uh, topic, 
and then they're giving a false, a false reading to the people. Right. Yeah, he, he was saying that the mark of the beast is those embargoes and sanctions, they putting on everybody. That's what the mark of the beast is, and that's wrong. Right. How they gonna, how can you put that in your right hand or your forehead? <laughs> yeah. How? Please explain that to me, man. You fucking simple, and you fucking got zombies following you, man. You really, you not simple. You just a, a con artist, snake ass nigga, man. You're Selling your people debt, man. You teaching debt, huh? Yeah. Go ahead, huh? Second Peter three and ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Hey, guess what, man? The most I've given the warning signs, but he got the angels blocking y'all from seeing them, man. It's not a y'all on the court. The most high has got y'all set not to get it, man. That's why he done left you off to get caught up in all of that madness, man. To spend your life uh, 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 debating, man. Doing all this studying just for a debate. With no 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 intent but to gain money, man. Yeah. And just being complete liars, man. Y'all don't give a damn about the community. And you know, hey, fuck this dude, for the record, fuck the community. Right. You know the scriptures tell you to debate the cause. Of what though? Right. God. The truth. Of these scriptures. And you got to do that with balance, man. Yep. Once Jake don't get it, that's it. It's, it ain't no every weekend thing, I'm going to keep going back and forth with you every yeah. weekend or twice a week. Or you calling me, hey man, but this, this, this. You didn't get what I said the other day? No. All right, then. That's the end of it. Yeah. Damn it ain't so, no all, man. The, all the time thing. Right. Man. Okay. Now I was saying then, you know, a lot of that could be uh, uh with dealing with ISUPK and them uh them cats on that ISUPK. Yeah. And them uh and them Egyptology cats and them the one that's on all that that Africanism garbage is uh the cares of this world. Yeah, you know yeah. you get you know in the world you like niggas get together with their family uh -huh. uh, and friends, so called friends, and they like to barbecue and eat. It make you feel good, All right. but you got to do that with brothers. If you gonna if you gonna uh, do something like that, it gotta be uh, your brother on the same doctor. Uh -huh. It ain't nothing getting wrong with getting together, like having a cookout or something. But it gotta be the, the brothers, and then you ain't supposed to do it on no uh, uh, on a Sabbath or a new a new moon, which is a, yeah, a Sabbath. No, no, um, no fire. Right. Well, yeah, you can do it, but yeah, like the brother say, you can't get supposed to light no fire. Or be cooking on 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 the Sabbath. Yeah, like El Tamar you know? say, shit, go get you something to eat, man. Make you a cold cut. God. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then on top of that, the money. You know, it's about the uh. Yeah, man. They getting together and they got all this this uh, what is it uh, this cookout going? But they the top guys talking about debates and. And when they gonna schedule another debate, and that bring in money, you know? Yeah, go ahead, bro. Hyping it up. Paying for a bus ride, a ticket, man. That's all about money, man. A whole bunch of zombies just getting together for a vain purpose, man. And all y'all doing is killing time into your destruction. Come. Y'all dead already, man. Y'all done, man. That's why it's pointless. That's why you shouldn't even be Wasting fucking time with that, man. Why even deal with a nigga you know is dead, man? Yep. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief for the night, and the wish the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Yep, the earth and the works therein shall be burned up, man. By that thermonuclear fire, that end game is gonna, man, I'm gonna speak on the end game as much as possible, man. Cause that's what y'all avoid, is the destruction of this place, man. The fact that this white man's kingdom is not gonna last forever. 
Because with the mindset and what y'all teaching, y'all just think we're going to be under the foot of this damn cracker forever, man. Or well, for another 10, another, 15 yeah, years. You know? I don't want to be under this cracker another second, man. Huh, right. Huh. I want to, man, keep clocking in day in and day out, right. man. Woo! Watching these damn Edomites get raised up to positions with no damn qualifications whatsoever when you breaking your back, man. But there ain't even a time for that right now, man. We know this not our rest. Right. We know we're brought here to serve captivity, man. A temporary captivity. And just with the, the, the man, the, the, the polluted food and air and water that we consume, all you should be doing every day is thanking the most high that you waking up, man. Calm, calm. And for the sole purpose, you waking up in the, uh, 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 of a sound mind and one step closer to seeing this place fall, man. I want to see this bitch destroyed. Come on. Um, go ahead, huh? Because the real quick, yeah, it, what's the point, man? The scripture's telling you all this is going to be destroyed, man. This whole way of life, man. All your entertainment, everything you look forward to is going to be done away with, man. We're not going to need that in the kingdom. We are not gonna need all these sports arenas, no damn electronics. We gonna live a pure, holy life, man. We right. can't even imagine it. the beauty of the kingdom, man. Right. With our puny minds that we dealing with right now, man. I'm gonna be in real shit. It's not the hell? Have to be under this bullshit every yeah. day, man. No. Okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. Second right. Peter's three and eleven. See it then, that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation? Yeah, what manner of persons, and to hell with the two thirds, man. This for the elect, man. What manner of person ought you to be with all holy conversations, man, your actions? How should you be conducting yourself on a day-to-day -day basis, man? If you know who you are and you know the power that you're dealing with, man, that's dealing with you. You should be, man, scared constantly of fucking up, man. Always, man, thinking, okay, making sure I ain't, I ain't slipping up on nothing. Yeah, we know we gonna slip up in this flesh, but you know, it's certain shit just ain't no way I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Like having a cookout with a bunch of niggas. Cut. Some punishment for the death. Yeah, you know, that's that way. Sitting in a, a circle with uh, kindergarten chairs. Sitting up, man, that's madness. Them niggas are sitting in them little kinder, you know them little colorful kindergarten yeah. chairs? <laughs> them niggas sitting in them motherfuckers, knees down to their chin, uh, in a fucking uh, Mars uh, Hill uh, environment, man. Oh. Professing a whole bunch of bullshit. Yeah, well, that was more, that's the spirit, you know. Yeah. Go ahead. First, uh, when we jump down to back to one was originally. Just run through it. Go ahead. All right. Verse 12. Looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of the Most High. Where we the heavens being of fire shall be dissolved. Hey, the scriptures answered it for you, man. The most I ask you what manner of person ought you to be, man. And it tell you, you're supposed to be looking and hastening for a new heaven and a new earth. But that don't mean you just sitting outside looking in the sky. Right. Looking at your watch, man. When is the kingdom of heaven coming? No, nah, man, you're going to be on the ground putting in work, man. Sacrificing. Watching for the prophecy. Come. No, I'll tell you that too. Go ahead. All right. Um, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, where we're in dwell of righteousness. Well, in dwell of righteousness, man. This is not the kingdom of heaven, man. Ain't no righteousness here in America. Nope. There's nothing upright about this place. No matter what you do, man, in this place, you try, I'll say, man, besides dwelling with the brothers and getting in this word, ain't no rest, man. I don't care what female, so-called bad female you lay down with, what type of false enjoyment you get, 
if you want to go out and try to get you a little drink or something, you might fucking, you got to deal with motherfuckers smoking cigarettes. Ignorant niggas running around, right. drunk crackers. You don't know what you're going to be uh, running into dealing with Babylon, man. Huh. You lay down with one of these bitches, they don't tell them what disease they infested with, man. Huh. And even if they don't have a disease, they full of demons, man. Right. Ain't nothing good outside these scriptures in the brotherhood, man. That's where the love in the scriptures come into play, man. Church Jakes always want to scream love and forgive and for and all this. That's talking for the brotherhood, man. Go ahead. Well, for beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, uh, delight that ye may be found. Uh, select my page. That's still good. Uh, of him in peace without spot and blemish. Without spot and blemish, man. Being faultless, man. You cats can't say that, man. Shit, none of us can say we just out here, man. 